Right, it's happened again for the 35th time today, uh, which I quite enjoy meeting people and coming up and saying, oh, I love your channel. And then the next question is, what's your fuel economy? Can you fit 30 fires without a lift? This guy here, I just want to be clear that we've got his face in it as well. All right, this guy. Maybe I'll shop 36 of your events. And um, so it's a pretty common question. And I think we need to use this uh, for the purposes of good and not evil. So we're going to do something and I'll show you what we're going to do. How often have you been asked today about fuel economy? It is the going question. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, getting many questions today? Heaps of questions. Mainly, who are we? <laughs> nah, um, fuel economy is on there for sure. Uh, is it like fuel economy and towing, yeah, or driving? Everyone's got something about fuel. If you want to go out, you got to get fuel. We got to do something about this. So, what's the fuel economy like with the uh, blower on top? I have to ask, yeah. do you guys also get the question of fuel economy? Yeah, all the time. All the time, actually. Yeah. yeah. I think so. because we have an old vehicle, people expect that we get bad fuel economy. But we actually get pretty good fuel economy, considering. Yeah. Old <laughs> We're better than most uh, BDJs these days, most new Land Cruisers, so yeah. Yeah, well, which isn't hard. Nowhere near as cheeky as me when I get asked that question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out everyone wants to really know the answer to this question. It's on all the Facebook groups. Uh, you probably won't see it as often on the Y62 Patrol modified Facebook group, because that's the one I moderate. Um, but I tell you, if we do, there's gonna be a consequence. All right, so what's been happening is we've been getting asked uh, a lot of questions up and down here. Yeah. And I've asked the other content creators as well, and they're getting the same question. And it's all about fuel economy. And to be honest, we're over it. So, what we're doing is implementing a fine. So we're going to have a $5 fine that if someone comes to the show tomorrow and asks about fuel economy, they're going to have to come and see this man. Yeah, good deal. So, you're going to have to give him $5. I'll give you a sticker in return. You might even get a sticker. And, but I think we should talk about your cause a little bit because you are a charity now. Yes, yep, Australian Registered Charity, yep. And it's a good cause and I'm right behind it. So tell me what you do. So Outback Cleanups Australia, OCA, OCA for short, uh, is an Australian Registered Remote Cleanup Charity, the, the first of its kind in the country. Uh, we were established in January 2019. Since then, we moved over 62,000 kilograms of rubbish. We've also uh, sorted through all that dirty rubbish, and entered into our database of what we found up, uh, found, and then uh, recycled it. Basically, categorised between our four bins in our trailer, rubbish recycling, general waste, and scrap metal. Then we take that into the correct waste facility it goes to. Yep. Uh, empty the trailer, fill the jerry cans up so the trailer's just level and the bins are empty, and uh, go again. So, tell me, where do you go in Australia? Come have a look at me, my friend. So our home office is here in Adelaide. Uh, we're there for probably six weeks of the year. The rest of the time we're on the road. Um, we're probably there at only a week intervals, but probably six times over the year. Uh, we generally like going west. West is best, as we all know. Um, there's also lots of rubbish in WA. Unfortunately, WA is probably the most littered state in the entire country. Uh, it's about 40 years behind the rest of the country in its recycling. So we sort of want to light a fire under WA's butt and get that getting up and catch them with the rest of the country. But yeah, as you can see, everywhere in the red is where we've been in the last three years. Uh, about 150,000 k's across Australia about 40 times, give or take. Um, how have you funded what you're doing up till now? Uh, so I'm a carpenter by trade. Uh, I brought my back um, at work in 2016. Uh, I had income protection, which sort of got the charity started. Uh, very much of a struggle financially uh, to get things going, but yeah, I used every single cent I had in, and invested it into the charity. Um, now that we are charitable, we're getting a bit more help from sponsors and that kind of thing to work out. Uh, but 100% of our uh, sort of funds come from our merchandise. So we sell it all on our online store, outbackcleanupsaustralia.com. Yep. So sustainable merch, uh, recycled chainboard sacks and M t-shirts. Uh, very conscious of our environmental impact with fast fashion, so that's what we're trying to do. you got the sacks here? Yeah, uh, we've sold out of sacks. Um, we do do limited runs as they are off-cuts. So once we have enough off-cuts, then we manufacture the sacks. Uh, so we've just sold out. They're actually just made up in Mundari, just up the road. So. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's supporting Australian business, it's supporting Australian charity, and cleaning up Australia by one of our products. It's hard to get a much better cause 
on the back of such a silly question. So I can't wait for you guys to come down and ask me that question. So I can send you over to Bo and then we can get this country cleaned up even more. Absolutely. Yeah, we got 62 tonne, let's get another 62. <laughs> Good number too. I was gonna say, you're not saying anything about 62s right? No. They're not rubbish. No, they're not rubbish. It's just coincidental. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> so yeah, did make a bit of light fine over that. But this is serious, we do need to clean up um, Australia. So even if you see a bit of rubbish on the ground, wherever you're camping, go and pick it up. Um, but if you wanna have fun with us on this and share this with all the, um, all the other uh, full drive forums and Facebook groups and that sort of thing, please go ahead and do it because we all need to clean up this beautiful country together. All right, that's, that's a wrap. I don't say it often enough, so I'm gonna say it now. Please subscribe, like, all that sort of rubbish. I'm told I should have more subscribers for the amount of people that seem to know who I am. So if you haven't pressed subscribe, go and do that now for me, please. See you next time on YouTube. Yeah, yeah.